Hey guys, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today, I'm gonna to walk through how to install the Dexter nylon suspension bushings. Suspension bushings are designed to go in the rolled ends of your springs, your leaf springs, and what it allows their springs to do is to move freely. It also creates kind of a hold on it uh, so there's not a gap in that spring or that rolled in that spring doesn't move around on that bolt. The inner diameter of the bushing is going to be 9 16 The outer diameter of the bushing is going to be 11 16 and they're going to be an inch and three quarters long. Uh, again, these are nylon. These are going to come in different lengths and different diameters. So you just want to make sure you're getting the correct size diameter for the bolts that you have on your trailer. The bolt. These also, you can also pick up uh, wet equalizer bolts. And what the wet equalizer bolt is, it has a Zerk fitting on the end on the whole head side and it allows you to grease the inside uh, where that rolled it rolled into that spring is they can be used with nylon or with the bronze if you do a wet bolt i recommend using the bronze uh, because the bronze the metal on that is going to definitely outlast the nylon you can find all the different sizes of bushings and the different bolts here at eTrailer.com. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get them installed. Start your installation. You need to get your axle on jack stands. Um, the reason I like to do this is so when I take the bolt out, this is lined up and I don't have a whole lot of movement I have to worry about. Um, we'll be able to get this bolt out easy and get our next one put back in pretty easy. So. Uh, put a jack stand on each side and it's a good idea to do both this one and the other one at the same time if you can. It makes it easier because if you take out one you're going to have to pull down on this spring a little bit to get it out. If you do both, the back of the axle or the back side of the spring is loose so when you lower your jacks a little bit the bottom of the spring will drop out it'll allow you to put your bushing in a little bit easier. So now we're going to take a 13, 16 socket. If your bolts are kind of rusted up, got gunked up, I'd put some kind of uh, degreaser or something to take off some of that rust or loosen it up at least when you go to take off the nut on the back side. I said 13, 16, it's actually going to be a 7 8 for the nut side. Um, you shouldn't have to put anything on this side because it's going to have teeth on it that actually hold in place inside the hole. Uh, if they get really wore out, this will spin, so you will need a wrench for that. Just like that, you can see that one. So on our bolt side, head side, we'll put the 13 16 Then we're going to take a hammer, we're going to put just a little bit of pressure on there. Normally you're going to have to hit the uh, bolt side a little bit harder because again you'll have teeth here that will uh, create grooves inside this plate so you'll have to hit it pretty hard a few times to get those teeth to loosen. And if you just take a screwdriver, you can pop your bolt out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of pull this down. We're gonna remove our old bushing you can see this one's actually broken in half and then we can slide our new one in. We use our jack, raise our axle back up, if we can get it lined up with the hole. Looks like it's a little bit off but that's okay. Be careful if you do this so you don't damage your bushing, but if it's not lining up exactly right, you can take this and just kind of 
pry back just a little bit to get that axle to pull back. Your bolt, you can put it in either way. You can go in this way or it can go this way. I'm just matching what the, the rest of them are. Kind of pry that back a little bit. Once you get it started, take a hammer. These are the teeth that I was talking about. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hammer this in all the way till the back of the head is flush on this plate. These teeth are gonna grind little slots inside that plate and keep that bolt from spinning. Now we're gonna put on our nut. On the nut, you're gonna notice on one side, there's gonna be little grooves put in it. That's because this is a um, lock bolt or lock nut. You can see how it's kind of oblong or oval shaped almost or oblong shaped where the other side is round. This side is gonna go on the nut or on the bolt because this will not bolt on. So we'll throw that on until it stops. Take our seven inch socket, we're gonna tighten it down. What we don't wanna do is we don't want to squeeze these two plates together to where this spring doesn't move. You just want to get it tight enough. Just like that. Once you get one installed, go ahead and repeat the process for the other ones. Reinstall your wheels and you're ready to go. It's going to do it for look at and installation on the Dexter nylon suspension bushings.